This is Potala Palace, the most prominent landmark in Tibet. Located on the 3,700 meter high red mountain in the heart of Lhasa, the Potala Palace was originally built in the 7th century by Tibetan king Songsang Gambo and further expanded in the 17th century. While the palace used to be the seat of power in Tibet for centuries, it is now Lhasa's major tourist attraction. Uh, so the walkers are mending the roofs in the Potala Palace, so let's go check it out. Along the rhyme and rhythm of the chorus saying, the walkers coordinate their pace in earth ramming on the rooftop. It is a method passed on through generations. <laughs> Home to over 100,000 cultural relics, the Potala Palace is a treasure trove of Tibetan history and culture. Many treasures in this palace represent the solid bond between the central government and Tibet. For example, this tablet was granted by Chinese emperor one and a half centuries ago. This connection is manifested by stories on the delicate mirror paintings, the union of a Tibetan king and a Tang dynasty princess, the fifth Dalai Lama received by Qing Emperor, and the construction of the Potala Palace with the help of craftsmen from Han, Manchu, and Mongolia ethnic groups. To guard treasures of such value, a meticulous security system is called for. This is the state-of-the-art technology that can be used to monitor the every single details of this colossal architecture. The system will be put to use shortly, fending off theft, fire and other forms of threat posed to the palace. Well, time for a coffee break. While the Potala Palace showcases a large chunk of the Tibetan history, the modern way of life has found its way in this palace and in this city.